Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey, welcome back to Daily Dose Radio. This is your home for gluten-free Bible study. No MSG, no GMOs. It's only pure. It's only good, clean God's Word. That's it. Five minutes a day. That's all we ask. Well, kind of went over yesterday. I did about six or seven minutes yesterday, but generally it's just five minutes a day. So I hope you can join me. Today we're looking at verses 38 and 39. And let's see, 38 and 39, we're going to read those now. Establish your word to your servant so that you will be feared. Turn away my reproach, which I despise, for your judgments are good. Now we have here, and again, this is my translation, establish. This is our word. This is, the again, that word of conjunction that goes hand in hand with teach. So we have, teach me, O Lord, the way of your statutes in verse 33. Teach me, and I will keep your law, in verse 34. Incline my heart to your testimonies, in verse 36. And now establish your word to your servant. The whole idea of the word establish is to confirm or to fix. So he wants the Lord to fix or confirm the word in his heart, which, again, is the work of a teacher. The teacher not only teaches principles, but inclines us in a certain direction and helps fix in our hearts those principles which he or she is teaching to us. And so we have here in verse 38, the word established, which I've said now is in conjunction with teach and makes makes this uh, whole passage now from verse 33 all the way down here, a passage about teaching. We want the Lord to establish or confirm in us his word because... There's a lot out there that wants to draw my attention away. Verse 37, vanity is out there. Unjust gain is out there. So I want with a whole heart to follow his commandments, and I need the Lord to confirm in me his word. So establish or confirm your word to your servant so that you will be feared. You see, the danger of vanity is, and the danger of unjust gain, and all the other things that we've talked about, which draw away our attention is that we will no longer fear the Lord. And that's not a good thing, because wisdom begins with fear. Understanding begins with fear. And if I'm going to have wisdom or understanding, then I need to fear the Lord God. So if he establishes me in his word, confirms in me his word, then I'm going to fear him. That's the outcome. That's the great promise of the word of God being active and alive in my life and me walking in it is that I will fear the Lord. And the outgrowth of that is I will help others to fear the Lord as well. You see, there's this this overabundance of product that happens. You know, the it's not only for me that I'm fed, but it's also for others that I'm fed. And so it's not only for me that I fear, but it's for others that they might fear the Lord when they see in me the Word of God active and abiding and me walking in it. That's that does something for other people, too. So don't think that you're doing this just for yourself. Don't think that you're just walking in this word just for yourself. No, this is there's an outgrowth that touches other people. And then notice the beautiful contrast that he creates for us in verse 39. Turn away my reproach. Now, in, for, in verse 37, he said, turn away my eyes. So now he's saying, turn away my reproach, which I despise. Now, the reproach that he's wanting turned away is, you know, what he confessed uh, last week in the Dalit section where he talked about his ways, you know, that they needed he needed to turn his ways away, you know, or over to the Lord so that he could walk in the way of the Lord. Now, he says, my reproach, and that's the sinfulness of the psalmist. He's talking about his own sinfulness, his own peculiar attractions to the world and the things of the world and the machines of the world. And my reproach, which I despise, for your judgments are good. You see, the way of the world and the dis- and the reproach that comes from it is not good. It's bad. But the way of the judgments, they're very good. So, as I'm walking in the paths of the commandments, delighting in his word, I'm going to lead others and myself to fear the Lord and find goodness in his judgments. 
I hope you'll join me again tomorrow for verse 40 in Psalm 119 on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.